Siazi the hot oh my people this yam and few of you are the real thing no na the real thing welcome back beautiful people to my channel this is me Greg Lama today I'm going to show you how to make yam and few of you this combination is a lifesaver if you were born and raised in Nigeria you know what I mean by that the first thing you have to do is to pick and cook the fio fio you wash it and cook until it is tender it is advisable to use pressure pot if you have one to cook it because it takes time to cook if you don't have a pressure pot you can cook it on your normal stove or gas or electric cooker until it is tender i prefer to cook it that way with pressure pot and i don't like to add potash to it the next step is to cut the yam. I prefer to cut it in small, tiny bits so that when I am eating it, I will just be putting it into my mouth. I don't like to break the yam. I don't like to cut the yam when it is already cooked. I like to just scoop it and then put it into my mouth. That's why I prefer to cut it in, in tiny bits. When you are done with cutting the yam, wash and set aside. Then check if your fio fio is uh, cooked. If it is tender, check it and then drain the water from the fio fio. You will know that the fio fio is cooked. You will know that it is ready when just by me touching it with your fingers, with your hand, it will be soft, it will be tender, it will break. Then you know that it is cooked. It is now ready to be used, to be garnished and to be eaten. Just like I said earlier, you drain the water from the fuel fuel. I don't recommend cooking it, preparing it, the final preparation with the water. Then what I will do now is proceed to pound the crayfish with the pepper. I love to pound it like it will not be so well pounded. I, I like to have a little uh, like feeling of the crayfish and the pepper. It will not be so well pounded. It will, there will be like to be like chaff, to be like it's not well pounded, but that is the beauty and the sweetness of it all. Because when you are eating the few of you and the yam you'll be seeing particles of the ose of the pepe and the crayfish i'm a real village woman next you pour oil into another pot and saute the onion you just pour the onions you know turn it turn it turn it that is that what is called sauteing you saute the onion and then you add the yam this is my own way my own method of cooking it because i like to see oil inside the yam when it is cooked and by doing it this way you you are guaranteed you are you have a guarantee you are sure that oil will enter into the yams and of course the ingredients that will follow will enter into the yam when it is done when it is cooked like when you are eating the, the food, the yam will be red. It is not only that the full food will be red, but then the yam itself, the inside of the yam will be red. Oh, very, very delicious. Okay, now you turn everything, you mix everything, and then they add, uh, you add the crayfish with the pepper. Mix it very well add salt and then you add a little water don't mind me at times when i'm talking about food i i tend to derail derail a, a lot because i love cooking i love cooking and also i love food you must have noticed that don't you haven't you noticed that i love food <laughs> so you add salt it doesn't need much ingredients if you like you uh, you can add maybe a brilliant cube no cube or whatever cube you want to add just add little water to eat that water is just 
to cook the yarn remember the few of you is already cooked and ready then the next thing you have to do is pour in the few of you on top of the mixture on top of the yam and cover to cook until the yam is tender You know, uh, fear of fear is very rich in vitamins like potassium, like copper, protein. So it is advisable to cook it without adding potash. As potash reduces the nutritional contents of it. If you want to cook it, if you don't have um, pressure pot, you can soak it overnight before cooking it. And of course, yam contains uh, many vitamins. It is a very high source of uh, carbohydrates and fiber. So this food is a lifesaver. This food is highly, highly nutritious. Back then, we used to say abubu kaluji. Abubu kaluji uh, means let the fio fio, let the abubu be much uh, than the yam. <laughs> Because, of course, we know the nutritional value of your fuel. So, when the yam is tender, you turn the mixture and your fuel fuel with yam is ready. Thank you for staying to the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And remember to stay hydrated. See you in my next video. Love you. Bye.